Kia ora and welcome everyone uh, to lovely Hastings. We're here for the New Zealand Schools Orienteering Championships. Uh, it's the sprint distance today. The challenges the kids are going to be facing today, uh, some fast running, some intense map reading, um, and that combination is going to be really the key to success today. Today has, uh, there's a, a large um, model railway running around the circuit. So there's only three crossing points on the south side and two on the north. So the kids have to select their best route choices based on that. It's going to be a big challenge in terms of finding the right route, uh, especially with those uncrossable barriers, and also just not getting uh, overwhelmed by all the competitors, all the close controls, and definitely navigation 100% over speed. speed. Speed's going to be uh, a bad thing today, I think. Uh, it's, navigation's going to be the most important.
Right, I'm here today with uh, Felix Hunt, the winner of the Intermediate Boys. Uh, Felix, how was your race out there today? Uh, pretty smooth. I kind of tried to just not make any big mistakes and plan ahead on the route choices so that I didn't lose a whole bunch of time for stupid mistakes. Uh, nice. And so in terms of running at a, at a water park, a bit of an interesting map. How did you find it? Did you have fun? Yeah, it was awesome. I, I went to the, one of the pools at one point, which is something I've never done before on an orienteering course. It was really yeah. pretty. Kate, how was, the, how was your race out there? Pretty good. Uh, one of my favourite maps. I really like it because it was very intricate and like not open, so there's a lot of detail to look at. And it was pretty, pretty good run. Yeah. Pretty good run. Any small mistakes out there? Or was it all pretty clean? Just a few where um, I thought there was opening in fences, but I just had to check my map, slow down, and go back the other way a few times. Cameron, how was your race out there today? Uh, overall, pretty good. A few minor mistakes here and there, a couple of controls, but fixed them pretty quick. But other than that, it's a clean run. So, Zara, just quickly tell me, how was your race out there today? Um, well, I found it really fun. I really enjoyed the map. I thought it was a really cool place to run, and overall, I was pretty happy with it. Like, I had a clean race, not many mistakes. Kia ora and welcome to day two of the New Zealand Secondary Schools Orienteering Championships 2021. We're out here at Whanafana, east of Napier, for the long distance uh, of these championships. Today's a little bit different. Uh, it's out here on a farm. It's steep, it's hilly, it's muddy. It's going to be all about a combination of physicality, speed, strength, and a little bit of navigation as well to determine the winners of today's race. What exactly do you do as the planner and controller of an orienteering race? So basically to start off, Kevin um, came up with some courses about the right length for the different levels that we had today. You've got the white basic course for the younger grades and then working on up to the hardest grade and the seniors, well, which has no fences on it today. So coming up with sort of the right length course for the winning time. It's just about making the, uh, the routes interesting and giving them some choice as to which way is best to go. Uh, the idea of orienteering is to get from point A to point B quickest way you can, whether you think it's straight up the hill or taking a longer, uh, less climb route, um, yeah, so it's just throw, throw that mix in there for them.
Kate, how was your race today in general? Pretty good race overall. Um, very minimal mistakes, but definitely had to push myself on all those hills. Sometimes really had to grip my teeth and just push through those hills because they were very hard at times. Yes, lots of fun. <laughs> so Felix, uh, first off, how was your race today in general? Uh, really tough. I was running orange, so there wasn't much nav to take my mind off the uh, physicality of it. I think it helped that I live on a hill, so lots of my runs I end up doing some climbs, so that probably helped out today with all the hills. Got a bit money, which was a good part of orienteering, so. Penelope, how was your race out there in general? Uh, very strong. I um, made no mistakes, really. I, probably the cleanest run I've had in a long time. I was pretty stoked. Every single hill I was um, having to push up, I kept running, and it was definitely very physically challenging today. And I think that um, my running definitely helped me. To, like, it was not as much navigationally challenging as it was physically. Fergus, first, just tell me, how was your race in general today? Oh, it was pretty good. I felt like I was sliding through the controls nicely for most of the race, and then just pushed really hard at the end and came in with good times. The hills were killing me, but I got up there eventually, and yeah, I feel like the fitness definitely helped out there. Connor and welcome to day three of the 2021 New Zealand Secondary Schools Orienteering Championships. We're back here at Whana Whana for the relay. So the relay format uh, is three legs. Uh, the first runner will go out, do their course, hand over to the second and then the third as well. And it is the team to complete all three legs first will win the race. The terrain is pretty challenging today. Pretty steep, pretty hilly, a couple of trees, a bit marshy, quite wet. Um, but I'm sure it'll be absolutely heaps of fun for the kids out there today. Mount Albert Grammar. So these three boys must be sitting the second, third, and fourth. Five minutes twenty behind Fergus O'Neill's time. He hands over to Cameron Potts, who was our champion this week the other day. Yes, the second runners on the Sydney boys we've got uh, Alex Jobbins out there at the moment. So there's the punch there from Daniel Wood. And here they come. So that must be Phoebe Hunt in front of Juliet Freeman Intermediate Girls. And Winter Green should head over the hill pretty shortly as well. Come into last control. The city goes a bit tight. Uh, just behind Sophie here, so Sophie punches the finish. Tags the second leg runner right and Cashmere High School. Away they go. Ferguson now coming down the finish shoot. An excellent first leg from him. And finish a touch under 28 minutes, I think. Felix comes down the finish, the intermediate boys class. Daisy York punches the last control, sorry the finish, and she'll hand over to her third leg runner. And he comes down the finish, 29.07 to that point, and he'll hand over to his third leg runner. This will be third in the senior boys for 
Not able to grab a hill, hand over to Tom Aish with the backwards cap. Amy Nicol, I just confirmed this, and that is victory in the junior girls class for Havelock North. And this will be the win in the senior and uh, the intermediate boys. They've managed to do it, they're under the shoot now, the three star uh, intermediate boys, and they cross the line. And Shirley boys take out the intermediate class. A little bit nervous at the end there, but they've done it. And this is first and second in the intermediate girls, Grace Lu Luang and Grace Corey Wright. I'll try not to be biased here. But it looks like St. Cuffs will take it out. Grace is extending on Grace. Grace and Grace in the Intermediate Girls. So St. Cuffs win the Intermediate Girls with Western Springs in second place. Total time, 138.41. Just three seconds in front of Western Springs. Oh, we've just had him already. Oh my gosh, I missed it. Ryan Moore comes in, takes the win for Cashmere High School in the Senior Boys. Cashmere High School win the Senior Boys. 27-29, his leg time, seven seconds behind Fergus O'Neill. Whoa. -ho -ho. And we've got, we missed Carson Vesti at the radio controls, but he's come in. And this will be second place in the Senior Boys for Havelock North. We've got Tom H in the finish now. So this will be third place in the Senior Boys for Mount Albert Grammar. Oh, we'll just have 10 girls finish. So Penelope 7 is coming to the finish, 24-48. Zara Stewart comes into the finish. Her leg time, 25-45, 57 seconds behind Penelope 7. 149-49, force of cuts in the senior girls. I'm here with today's Intermediate Girls Champions at the 2021 New Zealand Schools Orienteering Championships. Uh, these girls from St Cuthbert, so congratulations first girls, well done. Um, how was your race out there, Caitlin? Um, it was okay, I made a mistake pretty early on, but then was able to catch up a little bit to some of the others. Yeah. That's good. And you handed over to Grace. Grace, how was your race? Um, it was really hilly, definitely really hilly. Um, but. Yeah, pretty smooth overall, not many mistakes there. Good work. And, and Grace, the other Grace, you anchored the team. How was your run today? Um, I agree. It was really, really hilly. Um, I made quite a lot of little mistakes, like going to the wrong control and stuff. It wasn't the smoothest run, but I sprinted like the legs I could sprint, yeah. Nice, well done. Congratulations, girls. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm here with the Intermediate Boys Champions of today's relay at the New Zealand Secondary Schools Point Cheering Champs 2021, Shirley Boys High School. Uh, congratulations first today, boys. I'll just ask you quickly. Uh, so Tyler, you're the first leg runner. How was your race out there today? Uh, pretty good. Um, I just tried not to make any mistakes and run clean through the whole thing. Good stuff, always a good combination. Uh, you hand it over to Felix. Felix, how was your race? Uh, yeah, pretty clean as well. I tried to push hard on the hills and check all my numbers so that I didn't miss punch. Good stuff, always, always good. And uh, Jacob, you anchored the team and brought it home for the victory. How was your run? Oh, it was not too bad. I was just pretty cruisy out there because I knew we had a bit of a lead after Felix's run, so I just tried to keep it safe and not make any dumb mistakes and just tried to bring it home for the team. I'm here with the Senior Girls Champions of today's relay at the New Zealand Secondary Schools Orienteering Championships, Baradine College. Uh, well done girls, first off. Uh, so I'll just ask you quickly, um, so Aliana, how was your run? You were the first leg, how was it out there? Really hilly, <laughs> really hilly. Um, I did not expect it to actually be that, well I, you can obviously see it's hilly, but the, the course mappers obviously wanted us to go up and down, but it was actually a really cool course and it was pretty standard to follow, so yeah, no, I enjoyed it. Good stuff, well done. And so you hand it over to Isabel. Uh, Isabel, how was your race out there? Um, I also found it quite good. It was really muddy and my <laughs> shoes came off halfway through, but um, I liked the course. It was nice to run and yeah. Excellent stuff. And anchoring the team, Penelope Salmon, how was your run? 
I started off well and just kept going strong, definitely very hilly so just had to keep powering up through the hills and I had one face plant in the mud but apart from that it was pretty good. <laughs> Excellent stuff, always, always a positive. Alright congratulations girls, well done today. Thank you so much. I'm here with uh, today's champions of the New Zealand Secondary Schools Orienteering Championships Relay, Cashmere High School, they've taken out the senior boys. Uh, today, so uh, Fergus, first of, all, you, first of all, you were the first egg runner. Uh, how was your race out there? Yeah, it was pretty good. I was suffering a bit with the fast pace at the start, but then managed to keep the nav smooth and come through with a clean run in the end. So, good run overall, yeah. Pretty good, excellent stuff. And Jake, what about you? How was, how was your run out there today? Uh, not too bad. A few mistakes, but yeah, mostly just hard work running up the hills. Yeah, yeah good stuff. And then Ryan on the last egg, uh, how did you find it? Yeah, it was alright. I was just trying to keep it smooth, get to the finish and uh, secure the win. But um, there was a slight mistake near the start, but in general I was, it was fine, just struggling up the hills a bit. But yeah, just trying to push it to the end. Good stuff. Excellent stuff today boys, congratulations. And Barity with 407, first. With our top score. And the winners with 428 points and a comfortable win, Mount Albert Grimmer. So that's it from us at, here at the uh, New Zealand Secondary Schools Orienteering Championships 2021. Congratulations to all the participants. Everyone did a brilliant, brilliant job. Go and give orienteering a go. It's heaps of fun. Get out there and uh, make the most of it. Cheers.